Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. A big warm welcome to all of you uh, new subscribers and members of the channel. Hope you're enjoying all of the daily content uh, that I produce. Um, it is just me. It, it is just me. There's no one else behind the scenes or anything. Um, I uh, purchase all of the items and things uh, from the channel. Uh, I'm not given anything for free. Uh, so, you know, your support, you know, via Patreon or being a, a member, there's a few people that are, there's a few members uh, that are coming up to sort of two years now, which is, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. I'm so humbled uh, by your support that you, you know, enjoy the content. And, you know, two years worth is probably about over 800 videos um, that you've you've supported so thank you so much you can also support the channel further by using the element games affiliate link uh, that's in the description of this video and then at the checkout if you also use the crystal code you net yourself uh, you know double the number of crystals uh, which after a while they do bank up and then you can spend them all on getting even more money off of your uh, warhammers so if we go to community uh, you know there is a tile there um, you know, saying that Games Workshop deeply saddened by the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and they offer their condolences. Um, if we go back about a week ago to the news, to I want to say like the third uh, of September or so, uh, yeah, um, there's some Black Library pre orders. You've got Soul Drinkers, Omnibus, you've got Volpone Glory. Um, that was it for kind of Black Library. Um, also, there was the big kill team uh, Into the Dark uh, box set that was up for pre-order last weekend. I did not pick this up. For the Navy breaches, there seems to be, you know, one breach shield. But anyway, uh, you've also got some croup, which I guess if you're Tau, you know, you've been waiting for some new croup models, which is quite cool. I do like the scenery, though. Uh, this is the thing. With this box set, I really like the scenery. The Navy breaches are all right and the crew just don't do it for me. So yeah, that box set, I had to uh, leave by the waistline. Um, there was a Into the Dark token tin. There's the Elucidian Star Striders, uh, available separately for the first time. They came out over two years ago, uh, and I've been slowly uh, releasing some of the reviews for them and Galapox uh, Infected. Uh, over the next few days, Warhammer Imperium arrived, uh, you know, at the beginning of... Uh, this week so that will take precedence and then we'll get back onto the reviews for the Gellapox and then we'll go back onto uh, Horus Heresy and um, got the Kill Team Annual uh, the Phobo Strike Team available separately and then Blooded which aren't in the Demon Codex, they're not in the Chaos Space Marine Codex, I do wonder if they're even going to be in the Astro Militarum Codex, probably not but um, you know no 40k rules in paper so it's a hard sell <laughs> For that box set at the moment unless you just really like the models um kill team morocco uh you got the book and then the scenery and the board you got the command roster and then middle earth strategy game made to order gandalf the gray and that was it for the pre-orders uh last weekend on the saturday uh the day after on the sunday wow um i thought i'd have kind of sort of like easy-ish week uh but no <laughs> there's you know I was, I was reading through this article on the sunday and i thought oh middle earth right okay good and you have a bit of a bit of a breather because you know a few weeks ago i had scar and all those other horus heresy uh, releases but um yeah well we'll just see so you've got the lord of the rings battle of osgiliath box set um two forces they look really cool i like them uh, two sets of Gondor ruins, Rohan battle host, the Mordor battle host, Isengard battle host, and Minas Tirith battle host. Elrond, Master of Rivendell. That's pretty cool. Uh, ruins of Middle Earth, Rivendell die set, and the Garrison of Dale die set. They look nice. And then Final Fate of the Witch King. And then I read this and I thought, right, okay, right, okay, right. We've got Warhammer Horus Heresy. So 
we've got the tank coming you know the deimos pattern predator battle tank i've said before you can use any of your um plastic predators in 40k you know they uh, they don't have to be this deimos pattern a bit like the rhinos and the land raiders really uh, but if you do want a deimos uh, that's up for pre-order this morning uh, you've got the heavy weapons upgrade set finally you know after a few months of uh, of the release when the Horus Heresy come out like June time or so May June um you've got all the heavy weapons uh the heavy flame and the multi melter are underslung but the plasma cannons are over the shoulder I'm not a big fan of these as well don't know what pattern they are are they the Mars pattern yeah I like the underslung uh versions uh you've also got the other heavy weapons upgrade sets so the Volkite culverins the uh auto cannons and the last cannons i'll definitely be picking them up you've got some cards some reference cards for age of darkness and then data cards for chaos demons really odd that this has come out like after the chaos demons release should have been at the same time i think you've got warhammer underworlds these three miniatures is a whole brand new warband now and uh, you've got some deadly depths rivals deck of cards got the white dwarf and usually after the white dwarf they they end with the warhammer plus and i thought okay so just got to get the tank and a couple of heavy weapon box sets but then <laughs> but then i'm scuppered because it says new from forge world uh captain lucius the faultless blade and you he does come with the helmet as well so you don't have to have his um grinning smirk scarred head if you don't want to i mean you know helps with the narrative i guess but yeah so emperor's children Lucius is up for pre-order yesterday. Um, you've got the Empress Children Legion Praetor. Again, you can have him with the helmet. I'm not sure why they didn't show him with the helmet because uh, I much prefer the helmet version. Uh, and then you've got the Empress Children Legion Tartarus Praetor. Uh, again, odd that he's got a blade. Um, I mean, you know, it's the faster you know, Terminator armor, but he's got a blade instead of a spear. Um, I would have given this Praetor the blade and this Terminator with the spear and also the Volkite combi weapon looks a bit odd with the Volkite underneath and also this kind of strap. I always think guns with straps do look a bit odd in uh, Horus Heresy or 40k or you know science fiction because they just in the books they always maglock everything so but yeah. And another thing is they don't carry an awful lot of ammunition with them uh so are they really going to be like you know carrying this gun with the strap on around for ages with no ammunition you know they'll probably just mag lock it and forget about it um anyway you've got the empress children mark six heads um nice selection of 10 heads and then a helmetless one so you know you can have all of them with helmets on you've got the mark six shoulder pads Look quite nice. You got the white scars, Mark Six shoulder pads, and then the Mark Six, and then the white scars, Mark Six heads. I really like these heads. Probably one of my favourite sets. Uh, for Necromunda, you've got Gain or Gein and Vunder Gorvos. Got like some kind of like lizard thing. You've got Durgan Killfist, Outlaw Bounty Hunter. Your Axe and Hammer Outlaw Goliath House Agent. And then Goliath Champion with a Renderizer. Quite a small little weapon, but, you know. I think uh, this Axe is the uh, Renderizer. <laughs> That's quite, quite, quite a funny name for a, for a weapon. Uh, propagandist and Agitator. I won't say who they both remind me of in the hobby, but there we go. Uh, Black Library, quite a few books. Awakenings by George Mann. Um, I'm not sure whether I've read any books by George, uh, but you know he's got this nice uh, special edition. Um, Astor Sabathiel, Sabatiel. Um, looks a little bit different on the special edition than the standard, but yeah, you've got Awakenings. Um, so it's nice that they're both coming out at the same time, and they should always do this. You know, forget the Mortarian and Rogal Dawn and Sanguinius Primark novels where you're getting them sooner. They should come out at the same time, in my opinion. Speaking of which, here's Mortarian. Um, so, yeah, you can pre-order his book. Definitely going to be pre-ordering that. Uh, then you've got Storm of Iron, Hamilcar, Champion of Gods, uh, 
for audiobook and then Go Trek and Felix the Third Omnibus in French and Horace Heritage Print on Demand. We're getting to the we're getting close now to the end. Um I think Berry Dagger was actually the last one. It's the final four books. Uh you you can't even even though these are the final four books in like fifty four, whatever, um you can't pick up Slaves to Darkness and Heralds of the Siege even in paperback right now. So which is poor. <laughs> you know, it's the Horus Heresy. They've got lots of plastic uh, Horus Heresy. You should now at the moment, because we've got plastic Horus Heresy, be able to pick up any Horus Heresy novel in the series. It's an absolute crime that you can't. Um, you know, they bang on about, oh, you know, bestseller um, series, all this, blah, blah, blah. And then now they're reinforcing it with uh, with plastic uh, miniatures. Can't buy the books. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's yeah, the, that and uh, the Primark novels that you can't get hold of either it it's yeah it's beyond a joke it's it's just i'm just disappointed <laughs> really um that they seem to focus on one thing and they they can't like they can't communicate with all the other teams and just say right we're we're focusing on we're releasing horus heresy in plastic let's make sure everything else kind of you know enriches your experience it's yeah as i say it's disappointing because i've got so much passion for it um warhammer 40,000 kill team organized play and then uh warhammer plus you got interrogator episode 8 and a battle report 40k looks like it's tyranids um so that was uh on the wednesday and you've got warhammer vault some white dwarfs and then uh, siege of vrax part three i don't think i even picked up siege of vrax so that's worth me loading up on the old iPad and having a look. So that was the pre-order preview. So the you know the pre-orders for for today. Um, let's have a look at the other articles. So you've got House Esher's top bodyguard protects her matriarch. <laughs> look at this, <laughs> the matriarch's blade. Um, I really like that. I mean, it's it's just forty k, but there's so much going on there. Um, you know, you've got these bladed heel things, you've got this curved chain axe, you've got studs, you've got a cloak, you've got the hair in this hood thing, um, you've got some feathers, you've got some kind of bespoke plasma. I really like that. Um, look at that. That's cool. I like that. Um, you've got Warhammer Age of Sigmar. This looks amazing. They've even done a little, little video of him. Uh, Eternus, Blade of the First Prince. He is going to look amazing next to your Varangard and all of the new Slaves of Darkness. This is really getting me pumped. I think there's a lot of the kind of rusted um, patina dharma. Uh, I think I think that's a, a lot of bluey green. Um, but, you know, model is fantastic. Yeah, looking forward to Slaves of Darkness for Christmas. White Dwarf uh, 480. You get a first look at the brand new World Eaters parts. So some of the icons and the power plants and this uh, massive chain blade and the butcher's nails type thing. Yeah, look at these chain axes and the shoulder pauldrons look great. Oh, look, you've got some, it looks like Tartarus as well armor, doesn't it? Armor pauldrons. And then, of course, the helmets. Rumor engine, 6th of September. Some kind of like tree with some polyps or something on it. You've got Middle Earth Faction Focus. Take to the field with the Elves of Rivendell. The Leagues of Votan have stratagems fit for a supercomputer. Uh, how kill team tactics must change on Space Hulk. Uh, drawing a blank, meet the pariah of Interrogator. Uh, and then join the battle for Middle Earth. Black Library, they announced a few new books. So Shadow Sun by Phil Kelly. Might actually pick that one up um, in this edition because it looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm kicking myself that I didn't pick up here on Blackheart but no doubt that'll be sold out pretty quick um, and sold on uh, from scalpers uh, you've got Renegades, Harrowmaster I really want to pick this up, Mike Brooks um, I'm enjoying his books uh, you know uh, and he did write uh, Alpharius, Head of the Hydra which I really did uh, like um, so you know, I'm looking forward to that one Wrath of the Lost, a Flesh Terrors novel by Chris Forrester. 
So a few books, a few novels that they've announced. Construct a labyrinthine space hawk with kill team. So, yeah. I thought they'd give you like some kind of big old scenery. Um, you know, like, like over the top one. Middle Earth designing the stunning Elrond, Master of Rivendell. So a little insight into designing him. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Horus Heresy, Heresy Thursday, Custodes, Solar Auxilia, and Assassins prepare for, prepare for war with Liber Imperium. So normally you'd have like Talons of the Emperor or something like that for Custodes and Sisters just in one book. Um, and that would have been great. But what they're doing is they're just having it everything uh, in there. So you, you're having your Solar Auxilia, um, your sisters, your custodies, and your assassins all in one book. This is going to be a very, very interesting one. Um, they've got this new nemesis unit thing that hunt down, you know, warlords. Um, and yeah, the assassins, you know, they'll be the new assassin. Hopefully the new assassin will come out from Forge World in the not too distant future. Um, you, This article joins Jez Goodwin and Andy Clark uh, about designing the Leagues of Votan. And then Community Painters... Um, focus on the uh, Chaos Space Marines new possessed models which are fantastic and that's it for all of the news quite a lot of news over the past week all things considered um, so what I'll do now is head on over to Forge World and have a look at those Emperor's Children uh, miniatures so right here again uh, we've got the condolence um, tab uh, and then a look at uh, Emperor's Children and the Bounty Hunters for Necromunda. So if we click on New, and we go to Pre-orders, and High to Low, uh, you've got Captain Lucius, the Faultless Blade, 33 pounds. Was kind of expecting 35 or 36, because he is a character. They're not gonna sell as many. Um, but you can see there, cheeky little look at his helmeted uh, version. Um, looks nice. Um, you know, even if you wanted to use them as a Praetor or something, uh, it's fine. An arrogant HQ choice. <laughs> Love it. He consists of 12 resin components. Um, I, I'm, yeah, they've knocked it out of the park with all of these Empress Children miniatures, I, I think, in, in the range. It's one of the reasons why I'm uh, going to be starting them, but not until about February time. That's going to be my last Legion uh, out of the six that I'm doing. Uh, you've got Empress Children, Legion, Tartarus, Praetor, £28.50. Um, yeah, I don't know whether there's a helmetless version of him about. I don't think there is. Yeah, 11 uh, resin components. So only one component less than, than Lucius. You've got uh, Gaian and Vunda Garvos for £26.50. I don't think they have any options. I think it's what you see is what you get. But lots of detail for those. Two outlaw siblings as hired guns. They've got quite a few hired guns, haven't they now? For Necromunda. I like what they've done with it. Um, 14 resin components. And your Necromunda sort of bases. Uh, Durgan Killfist Outlaw Bounty Hunter. £26.50. For this chap. With a big kind of power fist thing. It reminds me of Fallout massively. Because a power fist for Fallout, you just put that on and then it, yeah, like Kit Fisto or whatever. I think that was the named um, weapon. Uh, you've got eight components uh, for Kill Fist. Axe and Hammer, Outlaw Goliath, again, same price, £26.50. Um, got, got this nice combi plasma. Um, and he's got Fists of Steel. Don't know about that, but uh, yeah, you've got five components, so only five components, not many for Axon. And you've got the Propagandist Agitator, uh, Propagandist and Agitator, even £26.50 for these two. Uh, I don't think there's any options. And 16 components, fair, fair chunk of components for that, that couple. So a lot of Necromunda luck, one, two, three, four, five Necromunda releases. Um, same number as Horus Heresy uh, for Emperor's Children. Um, then you've got the uh, Praetor, which looks absolutely stunning. Uh, really, look at that. That looks just amazing. Um, really like the look of this model. Can't wait to get my hands on him. £24. It's alright. Uh, 12 resin components. 
Uh, then you've got the Goliath Champion with Renderizer, which is like one of the best names for a weapon I've ever heard. Uh, you know, he's even got another weapon holstered, I guess, as well as that, as well as the Renderizer. £22 and four components. Not many at all. Wow. Very small number of components. Um, you've got the White Scott. You've got the White Scars, Mark VI shoulder pads for £14.50. The Emperor's Children, Mark VI heads for £14.50. And then the White Scars, Mark VI heads for £14.50. And finally, the Emperor's Children, Mark VI shoulder pads for £14.50. As always, um, you know, if you want to save a bit of money, it might be worth just picking up 10 of each, like just two packs, and then sprinkling them in a unit of 20. Personally, I probably wouldn't like just put them in Mark VI. I'd you know, have them on like special weapons or heavy support squads or, or something like that. Um, but it, you know, it's up to you. If you want to make your standard uh, sort of tactical squads a bit more special, because you're only really going to have either two units of 20 or maybe two units of 10, um, you know, you can do. Uh, and it just, it just makes them a little bit more, more special um, in your force, in your legion. So that's it for the pre-orders from ForgeWorld. A lot of pre-orders. You know, we've gone from like, uh, you know, one model or a couple models like the, you know, Custodes uh, Ares Gunship or the Delac um, Spiker uh, or, or even some of the made-to-order shoulder pads to, you know, a, a 12, basically, um, which is quite a big number for ForgeWorld uh, of individual pre-orders. Uh, let's have a look at Games Workshop and have a look at the... Uh, Horus Heresy Predator and um, all the books and things. Okay, and here we are on Games Workshop's uh, front page of their web store. Uh, again, uh, there's a little tile tribute to uh, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, you've also got, um, then you have an uh, advert for Lord of the Rings Battle for Osgiliath uh, for the make your advanced pre order for the new Middle Earth Strategy Battle game box set. Uh, you've got a tile there. Um, advertising armored reinforcements horus heresy hardbacks return um you've got the gore chosen enter warhammer underworlds a little look at um warhammer X plus exclusive miniatures as well so if we click on new and exclusive and we click on pre-orders we go high to low i are showing 42 but i think a few of these have been here before um so for some reason, we've got Tendrils of the High Fleets collection. <laughs> so you've got the Combat Patrol and a Tervagon and some artwork and the Codex. You've got Alariel's Verdant Children collection uh, for 180. You've got Fight, Fight, Kill, Kill collection uh, for Skaven, 154.50. You've got Fighting for Urgold collection, 151.50. And then from the Ocean Depths collection, £132.50. Kill Team Into Dark was last weekend, but this weekend you've got the Lord of the Rings. You've got the Lord of the Rings Battle for Osgiliath. Uh, £125 uh, for this box set. Um, it says advanced pre-orders placed between Saturday the 10th of September, 8 a.m. on Monday the 26th of September will be delivered before Christmas. So basically you, you order this and then um, you get it before Christmas. Uh, recreate the suspense of the battle for of Osgiliath uh, with this full starter set featuring 54 models uh, two balanced armies one good one evil uh, including new hero miniatures for Faramir Madril uh, Damrod and Gothmog and then you get an updated um, rules and accessories and so on so these are all the, the full forces here pretty good and the ruins of course yeah so 125 pound you probably can get that at a discount as well um yeah 12 six-sided dice range ruler double-sided sheet of punch out tokens uh, you've got the forces of good faramir madril damrod 12 warriors of minas tirith and 12 ranges of gondor forces of evil gothmog and 24 heavily armored Moranon orcs with wicked uh, melee weapons and shields and one armored Mordor troll. They have a troll. Uh, two sets of modular battle scarred Gondor ruins building four large pieces. 
So that's the new uh, set that you can pre-order, get it before Christmas. Um, Kill Team Annual was last weekend, but then today you've got the Horus Heresy Print On Demand Collection 11, £75. Uh, it's a print on demand. I already have two of those books in hardback, so yeah, I'd be paying, you know, £75 for two books. So for me, it's not really uh, a go-to. Um, then you've got, uh, this does look expensive, um, but it's pretty much a Legion Mark VI Heavy Support Squad with uh, Heavy Flamers, Multi Melters and Plasma Cannons. £73.50. You're not saving any money. I wish you were by getting these in bundles, both of these. Uh, but it's £26 for the Heavy Weapons and then of course like the £47.50 uh, for the Mark VI box set of 20. Uh, Kill Team Killzone Morok was last weekend. Um, but you can pre-order the Isengard Battle Host for fifty-two fifty, uh, the Mordor Battle Host for the same price, the Rohan Battle Host for the same price, and then the Minas Tirith Battle Host for the same price. Uh, Awakenings Special Edition. If we just click here, um, maybe this is a big deal. I don't know, but um, I'm not even going to go to an auction website see how much they're selling this for. But forty-five pound. Uh, you could get this special edition. Only 1,250. Usually there's about 2,000 or 2,050. So um, quite a small number of um, of issues by, by this. Written by George Mann. And it's a powerful Inquisitor. You've got Kill Team Gellapots was last weekend. So was Kill Team Phobos Strike Team. But this is new. This Deimos Pattern Predator Battle Tank. When they first announced this, I, I kind of was like hoping it would be cheaper than the current Predator. But it's actually the same price. Yeah, it's a bit, I'd say it's a bit of a shame. It's a brand new tank. It's got a lot of options, a uh, lot of turret options. Um, it's the same price. It really is up to you which one you get, um, you know, which you like the look of. But, uh, you know, you can't really go wrong with either. Um, you know, if you go for the, the Horus Heresy one, this Deimos pattern, you're getting multiple uh, sponsor weapons, Heavy Bolter, Heavy Flamer, Las Cannon and Volkite, um, some of those you can't use in 40k, um, and you're getting a number of um, turret options such as the Predator Auto Cannon, uh, the Twin Link Las Cannon, uh, the Graviton Cannon, uh, the Volkite. And there are a couple of weapons missing, of course, a couple of turrets uh, that you probably see on Forge World's website, like the Magna Cannon and the Conversion Beam Cannon, um, which isn't there. Um, but also the Plasma uh, Destroyer Array, I think it is. That is also a Forge World weapon too. Um, so maybe they'll do another Predator with those weapons because there's like four that are missing. I, I don't know. Possibly because this one has four. Um, that would be quite cool. Uh, you know, and, and the sprues are very nice. You know, you got the weapon sprue there, which is... You got the accessory sprue there, which is um, legendary. You've got the uh, the new Rhino chassis sprue. You've got the some of the turret weapons, which are you know in their own sprue. Then you've got the Sponson sprue, which is the same as the one in the uh, Sakaran and the uh, Kratos. And then you've got this new turret sprue, um, which is pretty cool because you know you could just get that sprue, I guess, and upgrade your your rhino in a way if they just sold that separate um so yeah that's um the big release for horus heresy uh this week well that and the emperor's children uh, new release is 40 pounds there uh for that i say new tank um you can pre-order the final fate of the witch king 35 pounds is this plastic though it's made to order it's metal it's actually metal made to order so if you want to Grab that, you can. Uh, the Kill Team stuff was for last weekend. Uh, but you can pre-order Elrond of Rivendell in a couple of poses. You can pre-order some Ruins of Middle-earth if you want to get them separately for 2750. Um, Warhammer Underworld's Never Maze, Gore Chosen of Drom. £26 for those three minis. And the cards, obviously. Um, quite pricey just for the three. I mean, I guess they're three. I guess they're pretty big, but is it one sprue? No, it's two. It'll be two sprues. And 70 cards. 
fair amount of cards. Uh, heavy weapons upgrade set. Uh, it's the same price as the um, special weapon set that they brought out a few months ago with the release of Horus Heresy in plastic. Um, so £26 gets you 10 of every heavy weapon there. Um, so the heavy flamers, the multi melters, and the plasma cannons. Um, £26 also gets you 10 of the auto cannons, Volkite, Culverins, and Las Cannons. Um, I said it before, I'm not a massive fan of the overhead like Las Cannons and Plasma Cannons and things. Um, so Forge World do do some underarm kind of uh, heavy weapons if you wanted to go down that route. I've picked up some Las Cannons and Plasma Cannons some last cannons and plasma cannons and i'll be showing you those and i'll be comparing them to these as well because i am picking up these um then you've got awakenings in hardback by george mann so that's just the you know standard edition of that book i can't find how many pages uh, this is but you can expect it to be about 200 or so probably a bit more you've got the warhammer underworlds nether maze deadly depths rivals deck for 17 pound the data cards for chaos demons are 17 pounds Soul Drinker's Omnibus and Paperback was last weekend, but this weekend you can pick up Mortarion, The Pale King in hardback. It's $12.99. Um, that did come out in Special Edition uh, a month or a couple of months ago. Um, Dawn is the next one, and then you've got Sanguinius. Uh, maybe they'll do a Horus one, because that's the only one we're now missing. But in terms of missing, you can't just type in like Lionel Johnson, Primark novel, and they sell it which is really again i said at the start of the video it's it's pretty pretty poor that you can't just pick up any primark novel uh of your legion when they're pushing you know they're releasing both resin and plastic Horus heresy units and products all the time they should be supporting it with the literature uh garrison of dale dice set 12 pound 50 and the rivendell dice set 12 pound 50 um, you've got the Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, Age of Darkness reference cards, and then the Volpo and Glory in paperback, £8.99. And then White Dwarf, number 480, £7 now. Uh, Battle Host, uh, Quick Start Rules Guide PDF, and Kill Team Into the Dark Token Tin, uh, which should get with the pre order of the Kill Team. So a lot of pre orders this weekend. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at, but some of them were last weekend uh, as well. What do you guys think of all of these news and the pre-orders, the Emperor's Children stuff and the new Lord of the Rings uh, releases as well as the Horus Heresy and the new novels? Uh, please do put in the comments below what you're going to be pre-ordering, what you're going to be picking up um, and what you think of all of these. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.